All right, very good. <clears throat> good evening, guys. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How is everything going? Hello, Alejandro, Ana. How is everything going today? Hi, teacher. Very good. All is, all is very good, yes. Okay, all right. Very good. I'm happy to hear that, Alejandro. Excuse me? I'm, I'm happy to hear that everything is just fine for you. Really okay. happy. Thank you. So can you tell us about what happened today for you? What did you, what did you do today? Did you do something? Good evening, Ana. Did you do something exciting? Maybe it's something that you want to share with the class? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. How are you? Very well. Very good. And you? Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes, I'm. I'm really happy because I mean, we are here again one more time, and I think that you know. It's fine. Ok. Bueno, creo que ahora estamos eh, más quizás que el viernes, ¿verdad? El viernes como que, como era día ya casi para descansar, creo que todos estaban ya pensando más en eso. <laughs> But that's fine. That's fine, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Katia. How are you doing today? Mm, fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. I am not really convinced about that, Katia. It seems like there is something going on. That's what it seems. Mm -hmm. Did you? I did, and I am not concentrate concentrating anymore. And why? Sorry. Why? What is the reason for that? Can you tell us? Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about something the else? The reason is muy, muy, <laughs> muy very fuerte. No me acuerdo cómo se dice fuerte. It's strong, oh. strong. Yes. Just like Alejandro said, strong. Yes, strong. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Well, I hope that I hope that everything goes well for you, Katia. That's I really hope so. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bueno, guys. Hello. Uh, hello, Nadia. Good evening. How are you? Eh, vamos a ver qué están diciendo por acá. ¿Qué tal, guys? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? A ver, cuéntenme. ¿Todo bien? ¿Pudieron descansar? ¿Pudieron disfrutar el fin de semana? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Okay, that's awesome. Very good. So we need to practice the simple past. So you guys can tell me, uh, can somebody tell me what you did on the weekend? Maybe you went to a movie or maybe you just hang out with the family or something like that. What did you do, guys? Um, I went to the church. You went to church. Sunday. Okay. You, you, very good. Very good, Jenny. That's really good. Yeah, and I think that a lot of people go to church on Sunday. I'm sorry? Oh, you went. Okay, very good. I'm sorry, Elmer, uh, did you say something? Uh, hey, my guys, my cast teacher is... I went to the church, me to uh, uh, Jenny. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. So you went to church. Uh, do you both go to the same place or do you go to different places? Different place, teacher. Oh, okay. Because I live in Chalchuapa and she, she lives in Santa Ana. Oh, I yes. see. <laughs> I see. So you're... <laughs> You're far away from each other. Okay. <laughs> that is fine. Very good, guys. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. So, uh, well, I can see. Let's see. Just give me a moment, guys. That's my objective. Uh, 
Ok, veo que ahora estamos más. La vez pasada creo que algunos tenían problemas para ingresar a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Creo que hoy ya todos estamos bien con eso. Me alegra mucho. Eh, así que... Vamos a ver. Yeah, everything seems fine. Ok, guys. So, well, uh, welcome one more time, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate uh, uh, you taking the time to be here for the class. So, last time on Friday, we were talking about the present perfect. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that, Nadia. Uh, what is going on? Can you please write it down? Are you not able to hear me at all or do you hit me like, let's see. Okay, Nadia says that she can hear me well. So I don't know if the rest of you guys can hear. I can hear yes, very teacher. well. I can hear. Yes, teacher, I can yes, hear teacher. you. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you guys, I appreciate that. Yeah, so it must be something on your end. It must be something yeah, on your I'm end. Strong. Thank you. Thank you, Boris. I appreciate that. So most likely, Nadia, it may be something on your end because it seems like everybody can hear, can hear me just fine. So maybe something with your device or maybe the internet connection, perhaps. Okay. Si gusta, Nadia, tal vez puede intentar eh, tal vez salir un momento y luego volver a entrar. O tal vez revisar el internet. Excuse me? Excuse me, teacher, what is the meaning of perhaps? Yes, uh, perhaps is like when you say maybe. It's tal vez or quizás. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. Very good. Así que, eh, vamos a ver, I will go back to class. Okay, very good, very good, Nadia. Sí, aquí vamos a aprender eh, vocabulario, ¿verdad? Todos los días, así que. And thank you for asking, guys. I really appreciate that because that means that you guys are paying attention. So I really like that. Okay, so uh, last week on Friday, we were talking about the present perfect, right? So we said that there are some situations when we use the present perfect, like uh, when the time is not specified, we use the present perfect, okay? Uh, we didn't finish with that because we ran out of time. Uh, we didn't have enough time on Friday. So we're going to continue with that. We're going to continue with the present perfect And we are also going to work on the past, the simple past, okay? We're going to work on that. So I don't know if you guys have any questions about anything, any questions for me at all? Anything that you'd like to say, guys, before we start? Vamos a ver, por acá. Vamos a ver, guys. Yo por ahí les compartí el, el video porque algunos tenían, creo que les expliqué cómo se hacía la contracción, especialmente para el presente perfecto, y creo que teníamos un poquito de dudas, ¿verdad?, de cómo se pronunciaba. Entonces, les envié un video en el cual allí se explicaba prácticamente eh, la contracción para todos los tiempos, ¿verdad? Ahí con un poquito de más de detalle y más... Ok. Así que cuando tengan un momento, ustedes lo pueden revisar, guys. En cualquier momento que ustedes gusten. Okay, so for today, let me just share the screen with you guys. Let's see. Uh, have to, yeah, yeah, we stay here. And the okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Here we go. All right, very good. So uh, we. This is what we were, what we missed from the last class, from the last session. So basically, basically, guys, uh, this is just uh, there, this is just a, a set of images that I wanted to share with you about how the uh, present perfect works. So we have a this is like a summary, okay, about the things that we discussed on Friday. So the first one it is that we can use the present perfect for things that like recent events, okay, past recent events when we don't say when or with time expressions, including now. Okay, so we have here, this is the timeline, as you can see, we have the past, we have the present, now. Okay, uh, as you can see, this is something that happened in the past, but really close to the present, like just, already, and yet. Okay, entonces vamos a ver acá, guys, en este caso, el, 
el uso del presente perfecto para hablar acerca de cosas que acaban de suceder. Y vamos a hacer uso de estas palabras. Estas palabras nos van a servir como auxiliares para poder expresar eso. Entonces, eh, nosotros podemos decir, vamos a ver, se lo voy a escribir por acá. Vamos a ver. So, for example, you can say, I have just read the book. Ok, aquí estamos diciendo, acabo de leer el libro. Ok. And then we have uh, other examples, like, have you finished yet? Ok, y utilizamos ex esta expresión de acá. Eh, esta expresión yet es para decir si ya ha sucedido algo, como ya terminaste. Y la respuesta en este caso sería, yes, I've already finished. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces sería, ya terminé. Y acá pues eh, hay algo que quería explicarles. El uso de, de yet y de already, eh, en el presente perfecto, lo vamos a distinguir de acuerdo a si la oración es positiva o si es negativa. Eh, cuando son oraciones eh, negativas o una, una pregunta, podemos utilizar yet. Por ejemplo, I have not read the book yet. ¿Ok? En este caso, como es una oración negativa, nosotros no pudiéramos utilizar already. ¿Ok? Already and yet es casi lo mismo significado, pero uno se utiliza para negativas y para preguntas, y el otro para oraciones positivas, como acá. ¿Ok? Decimos, y si ustedes ven, pues acá estamos utilizando de parte de las estructuras que ya hemos estudiado, que ustedes ya han revisado antes. Eh, que ¿Cuál era la estructura? Era have o has más el sujeto, en este caso, eh, para la pregunta, ¿verdad? Estamos en la pregunta. Más el sujeto, que es have you, y luego el verbo en el pasado participio. Have you finished yet? ¿Ok? Entonces lo vamos a utilizar así, para preguntas y también para oraciones negativas. Y estamos hablando de una situación que acaba de suceder. Have you finished yet? Have you already... Uh, have you finished yet? Or I haven't finished yet. ¿Ok? So that is the way that it works. We cannot say I haven't already finished. We cannot say that. We need to say I haven't finished yet. ¿Ok? Entonces esto es para cosas que, que acaban de pasar. Y la traducción sería como yo acabo eh, de leer el libro o yo eh, no he leído el libro todavía. Esta oración que está acá. I have not read the book yet. No he leído el libro todavía. Y acá la respuesta eh, para esta pregunta es sí, ya lo, le ya lo terminé. Ya lo he terminado. Ok, then we have the next uh, word, which is recently. Ok, have you seen any good, uh, I'm sorry, have you seen any good films recently? ¿Has visto alguna buena película recientemente? Ese es el significado. Recently es recientemente. Ok, and then we have the last one that says today, this week, this month, and other time expressions. Ok, uh, And then we have this. I haven't seen Ted today. Ok, entonces eh, siempre son cosas que han sucedido en el, futuro, en el pasado cercano. ¿De acuerdo? No he visto a Ted el día de ahora. I haven't seen Ted this week. I haven't seen Ted this month. Como mencionamos antes, eh, es, son, son situaciones que empezaron en el pasado y que hasta el punto de ahora, del presente, tienen una conexión. ¿De acuerdo? A diferencia de... El pasado simple, que es otra cosa que hemos visto. El pasado simple, algo que empezó en el pasado y terminó en el pasado. ¿Ok? So, I haven't seen Ted today. Maybe he isn't feeling well. ¿Ok? Tal vez no se está sintiendo bien. No he visto a Ted el día de ahora. Entonces, no sé si tienen alguna duda o si estamos claros eh, también con respecto al uso de already, yet, and all of this. Do you have any question, guys? No, teacher. Yes, no, teacher. Mm -hmm. I don't understand when we use to get. Get. Okay. So, yes. So, Nadia, just, I was saying that we are going to use get when we have a, a question and also when you have a negative sentence. Okay. 
like this. If you see, it says, I have not read the book yet. So this is negative. And you are also going to use it when you have a question, like, have you read the book yet? Like this. Entonces va a ser para preguntas y va a ser para oraciones negativas. Para esos dos casos lo vamos a utilizar. Teacher. Yes. yes. The question, have you see uh, always begin with how? Correcto. Sí, correcto. Siempre va a comenzar con have you. Para hacer las preguntas, esa es la estructura. Vamos a comenzar con have or has. Y luego va a utilizar usted el sujeto. Que puede ser un pronombre como you o puede ser un nombre. Por ejemplo, yo le puedo preguntar. Eh, alguien más, digamos, have, uh, have, um, has Katia finished the book, por, por ejemplo. Entonces yo voy, okay. estoy utilizando su nombre en ese caso. Pero siempre va okay. primero sure. have or has y luego el, el sujeto. Ok, teacher, thanks. You're welcome, Katia, you're welcome. Maritza, do you have any questions? Yes, teacher. Um, in Spanish. Yeah, okay. <laughs> eh, eh, o sea, eh, si lo niego es como si se hubiera diciendo en español, por ejemplo, mm, bueno, eh, todavía no he leído el libro. Correcto, sí. Y si estoy preguntando, estaría diciendo, ¿todavía no has leído el libro? Correcto, sí, prácticamente así. El... <laughs> Entonces, si utilizo el jazz, es como si dijera, es como si estuviera preguntando o podría preguntar de forma positiva. Por ejemplo, ¿ya leíste el libro? Uh -huh. O sí, sea, eh, eh, tengo que usar el jazz a cambio del jet. Uh, ¿Cómo? Perdón, ahí ahorita ya me perdí. O sea, sí, sí, sí. <ríe> si, pregunto, bah, si pregunto de forma negativa, uh -huh. podría decir yo, ¿todavía no has leído el libro? Sí, sí, eh, si, vaya. Le, si, si lo que quiero preguntar es, ¿ya leíste el libro? <risa> sí, vaya. En este caso, en este caso sería como positivo lo que usted está diciendo. Ya leíste el libro Ajá. y si Ajá. usted quiere hacerlo negativo, tendría que ponerlo así. Ajá. Y si lo quiero hacer haven't... positivo. Usted diría, haven't you read the book yet? ¿No has leído el libro todavía? Ajá. Ahí ya es negativo. Ajá. Entonces Ajá. vamos a utilizar esa parte. Ya es una pregunta, pero con el sentido negativo en este caso. Teacher, mm -hmm. sorry. Yes. Lo voy a aburrir, pero... No, that's fine, that's fine, Katia. Eh, jet is only... Jet is only for the negative question. Mm -hmm. And already is for... For... Eh, de cuestión de como para un, como que ya para que es algo para que ya terminamos already sí correcto es para, usted está diciendo sí ya lo hice entonces eh, se utiliza principalmente para oraciones positivas así como en este caso que estamos contestando verdad estamos diciendo sí ya lo leí o ya lo terminé okay en yo sería solo para entonces solo para para preguntas, ¿verdad? Eh, just. Ah, no. Uh -huh. para, 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 para algo que supuestamente estoy haciendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Correcto. O sea, es que como siempre que... lo estoy haciendo. Ajá. No, no es como para algo que siempre está haciendo, sino que algo que acaba de hacer. Digamos, eh, yo acabo de, digamos, de leer el libro. O yo acabo ejemplo, de enviarle un I mensaje. Have, I have just Uh -huh. Eating. Correcto. Ok. Ahí está diciendo usted de que oh, a, a, yo, yo he, he acabado de comer. He acabado de comer hace un momento. Ok, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Teacher, yeah. mm -hmm. and when you say the, the, the answer, um, you, you say, is, yes, I already do it. It's good or not? 
in that case, in that case, Gabriel, that's a good question. Okay, you are going to answer using the same tense. Okay, in this case, we have the present perfect. So then we need to answer using the same tense, like, yes, I've already finished. And in your example, uh, you need to say like, uh, yes, I, I have done it. For example, you need to use the, uh, the past participle of do. So you're going to say done. So, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Sí, en ese Thank caso, you, teacher. You're welcome. Así que es lo que nos estaba preguntando Gabriel, es si vamos a responder utilizando, eh, por ejemplo, en el caso de él, yes, I do. Pero no, en ese caso vamos a responder utilizando el mismo tiempo. ¿De acuerdo? Eh, por ejemplo, acá dice, have you finished? ¿Ok? Entonces la respuesta va a ser, eh, yes, I have finished. O no, I haven't finished. O I have not finished. Siempre vamos a utilizar el mismo tiempo. ¿De acuerdo? The same tense. It's going to be the same. And recently, the same. Recently, the same, yes. So I just say, um, I have just, I have recently, I have recently read the book, okay? This is, these are just uh, like words that are going to help us so we can describe when something happened. But the tense will be the same. It will remain the same, guys. Así que, eh, estas solamente son palabras que nos ayudan a describir como en qué momento sucedió algo. Pero el tiempo siempre se mantiene igual. Por ejemplo, acá es, I have read the book. Ok, entonces vamos a responder utilizando el mismo tiempo. Yes, I recently read a book. You, you can say it like that. Yes, yes. You, okay, but okay. You can, or you can say it you want to, just like, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. You can say both ways and it will be fine. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. I had a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. Okay. It's correctly to use already only at the first of the statement and yet at the end. Yes, yes, it is correct. You can do it that way, yes. Because if you see, uh, in this case, we're using yet for questions, right? So haven't or have you read the book yet? Usually that is the way that it has to be, yes. And then, yes, I have already finished, so yes. Thank you. You're welcome, Boris. Okay, eh, alguien más que tenía una pregunta por acá? Me teacher. Mm -hmm. Dígame. Ana. So, if the answer is negative, can I say not? I haven't yet. You can, can say, say that. No, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, no. you can say that. I have not. For example, in this case, uh, with the example here. Uh, haven't you read the book yet? You can say, no, I have not uh, read the book read yet. The book yet. Uh -huh. You can say it like that. There are different options, but you can do it like that. That's fine. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Any other question, guys? Any Teacher, other question? Yes. Uh, could, you have, could you give me an example for Alray? Already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I have already uh, done exercise today. Okay. We have, this is a affirmative sentence. Okay. And it says, I have already done exercise today. Entonces estamos diciendo, yo ya hice ejercicio o ya he hecho ejercicio el día de ahora. Ya he hecho el ejercicio el día de ahora. Entonces, eh, como le mencionaba anteriormente, lo vamos a utilizar prácticamente solo para oraciones okay. afirmativas. Afirmativas. Correcto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Janira. So, let's see. We can, we can practice this, guys. I, I, can, I can see that you guys uh, are really good because I can see that you guys are catching uh, the rules. So, that's really good. So we need to practice so we don't forget these things, okay? Because we, if we don't practice, then we will forget it. So let's see. Vamos a ver. Tal vez eh, vamos a ver si alguien puede participar. Vamos a practicar. Vamos a practicar, guys. 
¿Quién, ¿Quién quiere practicar por acá? Vamos a ver. Que me den algunos ¿Sí? ejemplos. Ok, very good. Go ahead, Elizabeth, please. Ok, teacher. Uh, I recently I came to class, but I want to participate. Ok. Uh -huh. Past recent events. We don't say when or with time expression, including uh -huh. no. She had an accident. I be past the exam. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Just ready yet. Have you finished yet or not yet? Uh, yes, I have. We have to respond. Yes, I have already finished. Recently, have you seen any films recently? Mm -hmm. uh, and respond, I believe that yes, yes, I have, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. okay. Uh, next Monday, this week, this month, etc. We haven't seen till today, maybe he isn't feeling well. Okay, very good, I very good. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, very welcome, teacher. Thank you so much. Yeah, so you, okay, very good. And then uh, just a couple of things, Elizabeth. Very good. And uh, here, uh, you need to yeah. say like cheese. She's had an accident. She's hmm. had an accident. And we, here, have, we have to talk in the past. How? Mm -hmm. You need to say it past participle. And this contraction, it sounds like cheese. She's had an accident. Mm -hmm. This one here. It is like this. I passed the exam. I passed the exam. Like this. I. Mm -hmm. I passed. Okay. But that's good. Very good. Okay. Muchas gracias, Elizabeth. Gracias por su ejemplo, por su participación. Vamos a ver. ¿Alguien más que quiera decir algo para la clase? Leer, No, no, no es leer, eh, Katia. No, si usted puede darme algunos ejemplos, eh, dígame, eh, por ejemplo, así como el que me mencionó antes, me dijo que acababa de comer, ese es un buen ejemplo. Vamos a ver. Ok. okay. <risa> pérebe, pérebe, pérebe. Ok. Teacher. Yes. I... Uh, no. Ya me quité el unido. <laughs> That's good. In this case, if you want to, Katia, you can think about it. We can let Maritza participate. But I think, teacher. Okay. Uh, for example, if I say I, I haven't understood yet. That's good. Yes. <laughs> I hope. I hope that this is just an example. I hope. <laughs> I haven't understood yet. Very good. Very good job, Maritza. Thank you. Any other example, Maritza, other than that? Or is that the only example that you have? Um, I have just mm -hmm. to arrive my home. I have just, and then I have just to arrive, or oh, oh, acabo de llegar. <laughs> okay, I have, yeah, I have just uh, arrived. Arrived arrive my house, to my house. To my house, yes, oh, to my, my house, house. Oh. to my house. Okay, very good, so usted acaba de llegar a su casa, correcto? <laughs> yes. Very good, thank you so much, Marisa. Really? Very good. It's really. <laughs> yes. yes, I know it's, it's challenging because we need to think about the, the the structure, we need to think about the verb and all of that, so it can be challenging at the, at the beginning, so that's fine. Very good, thank you so much, Maritza, you did a great job. Okay, so now we have Nadia. Please go ahead, Nadia. Hi. 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 Uh, 
For example, is the I have um, writing documents now in my job. I have, and then? Writing, writing document in, now in, in my job. Documents in my job, okay. I just need you. Uh, I just need you to do me a favor, Nadia. Uh, can you please spell uh, the? Can you please spell the verb? Can you please spell it out for me? How do you spell it? Writing. Excuse me. Give me the woman. Okay. Okay. No problem. That's fine. Vamos a, recordar, eh, vamos a recordar, guys, que la estructura es primero el sujeto, luego have or has, y luego el verbo en la forma de pasado participio. ¿De acuerdo? Right. Ok. Eh, ok. Uh -huh. R-A-T uh -huh. eh, E-N-G Like this? Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, sería too much. Yeah, I, I stop. Air, mm air, -hmm. mm -hmm. a, t, mm -hmm. a, n, no, e. Okay. Not a problem. A, okay. A, A, okay. N, e, E, N. N, G. N, G. Okay. E, N, G. E, N, G. Uh, right. Writing. Okay. Writing. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much, Nadia. So, eh, bueno, eh, para la mayoría de los verbos, eh, nosotros agregamos solamente ED para transformarlo al pasado. Ese es para los verbos regulares. Pero en este caso, cuando estamos hablando de, de write, que es de escribir, es un, es un verbo, perdón, irregular. Eh, por lo tanto, no se aplica esa regla, ¿correcto? Entonces, eh, para write, el pasado participio, porque recuerden, es el pasado participio, entonces es de la siguiente forma. I have written documents in my job. ¿Ok? Very good job, Nadia. Uh, we just need to check the verbs because I know that there are a lot of verbs and it's difficult to remember all of the verbs. So that's fine. We can forget sometimes. But uh, in this case, for write, the past participle, it is written. Okay? Tenemos el presente, bueno, el verbo base, que es write. Then tenemos el pasado, que es wrote. And then written. Okay? Like, just like this, written. I have written documents in my job. Ok. Siempre lo vamos a utilizar en el pasado participio, ¿ves? Ok. So, vamos a ver. No sé si eh, me expliqué bien, Nadia. Muy bien, muy bueno. Eh, no sé si me entiende lo que le quiero eh, decir en este caso. Yes, teacher. Very good. Thank you so much, Nadia. I appreciate that. Okay, so Katia, do you remember now your example or do you need more time so you can think about it? Uh, yes, teacher, but <laughs> makes me fear, but I haven't uh -huh. then 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 I haven't then uh -huh. um, salsa this week. Very good. I don't know. This <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So I can imagine that you like to dance, Katia. I, I can imagine that you like it. I love. It. Oh, I see. Okay, very good. Maybe one day uh, you can teach me because I don't know how to dance. I have like two left foot. <laughs> no. I am really bad at dancing, guys. <laughs> I can tell you that. I am really bad. Sí, sí. Sí, la gente que puede, pues ellos dicen que es fácil, pero para mí es, yo tengo todo el cuerpo descoordinado, la verdad. Entonces me cuesta bastante. <ríe> no me quieren ver bailar, guys. No me quieren ver bailar. You don't want to. You don't want to see me dance because I'm, I'm really bad. I am terrible. 
Ok, very good. Bueno, guys, muy bien. No sé si alguien más tiene algo más que le gustaría agregar antes de que avancemos. ¿Estamos claros aquí con esta parte? Yes, teacher, I understand. Very good. Very good job, guys. Okay, so we're going to continue. Then we're going to practice more. I want to also maybe, maybe we can make like pairs or groups so we can practice. So we are going to continue and, and then maybe we are going to practice a little bit more. Okay, so then uh, we have the I next. I would like to practice in page teaching. You would like to? Okay. Uh, in page. Very good. Maybe. Okay, so what do you guys uh, think? Do you, do you agree? Do you want to practice in pairs? Mm -hmm. Free teacher. Do you want Free to? Okay. Three person. Three person. Three people. Yes. Yes. Three people. Okay. Okay, we, we can do that. Let me do that, guys. Let me do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> vamos a practicar. Yo quiero que se sientan ustedes cómodos y que podamos a practicar, ¿verdad? Así que lo vamos a hacer. Dame okay. un instante nada más. Ok, vamos a hacer acá esto. Ahí está. De dos a tres participantes. Ok, ahí vamos. Ok, I will be checking on you guys. So let's practice on this. If you have questions, I will be uh, moving so we can work on this guys okay so here we go one okay it's done okay here we go Estamos la mayoría. Nice. Cristian, Gerardo con Ricardo. Vamos a ver. Okay. That's fine. Good evening, Katia. Sí, chido, Nimi. I can see that you are. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can see that you are alone. Uh, you don't have a, a partner yet. Yes. Okay. But... <laughs> that is the reason why I'm here because I wanted to accompany you. I wanted to be your company. Okay, teacher. <laughs> ¿Alguna pregunta, Katia, que tenga en este momento? Mm, no, no, teacher, really, no. No, okay. But, um, so let me ask you some questions then. Maybe we can practice like this. Okay. Presently is for a question, but teacher. Uh, yeah, you can use it for questions. You can also use it for uh, statements. Like I have recently read a book. Uh, have... Okay, because I can mm -hmm. say I have res recently uh, done exercise. Yeah, you can say that too. Yes, I have recently uh, done okay. exercise. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, Only that, teacher. That's, the, but that's it. I don't know. But you're doing good. You're doing very good, Katia. I, I can see that you, you get the topic, so that's fine. You're doing a good job. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to move to another room because I had to check on okay, the other Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, teacher. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ok. 
Okay, here we go. Good evening, uh, Damaris. Can you hear me? Hello. Damaris, can you hear me? Okay, we don't have no response. Okay, I'm going to move to another room. Jenny, Jenny, Carlos, Nadia. Uh, mm -hmm. I have stayed here for one day. Can, can you repeat? I had studied here for one day. Uh, the verb the past is the present day. Eh? No. Study. 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 Uh, it's okay. No, yeah. It's okay. Study here for one day. Oh, okay. Um, Have you seen? And uh, have you seen a good movies recently? No, um, no, I no, no. So you can say, Carlos, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Por eso. No, I have. No, I have. No, Me I have. No, I have. No, I have huh? seen any good movies. Good job, guys. Good job. Um... Um, how you ever be? Uh, how you ever been a wet at a surprise party? Okay, so have you ever been to a surprise party? Uh -huh. A surprise party. Surprise. No, mm -hmm. I haven't. Uh -huh. Surprise party. Okay, so Nadia, you need to say no, I haven't, or no, I have, I haven't been to a surprise party. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh, ha, um, have you ever been on TV? No, I. I haven't. I haven't. I have. You ever been? On TV. No, I haven't. In my case, no, I haven't. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good job, guys. Mm -hmm. Very good. No, I haven't. Okay. Me too. Let's go to another room. Hello, guys. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, teacher. Me alegro mucho. Estamos haciendo la estructura porque dice, dice Miguel, él quiere decir... Yo eh, recientemente he finalizado de cocinar. Ajá. Ok. Decía que usar el have como decir, I, I have finished... I have recently finished cooking. cooking. Uh -huh. Sí. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I think, yeah, very good. You can say, I have recently finished cooking. I recently finished cooking. Uh -huh. Y el have siempre va a continuación del app. I have. Es que Correcto. es la estructura, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Usando have siempre va. Correcto, así uh -huh. es. Teacher, y, para, y para decir solamente me falta cenar, porque yo en mi caso vengo a las 7, hago la cena, me conecto a la clase y después de la clase ceno. Después de la clase Ay, ceno. Ah, entonces, ah, yo acá en la estructura te ponen solamente me falta cenar y luego lavar los trastes. ¿no? Okay. I, I just need to, to dinner. ¿Así? ¿Algo así? I just need to dinner. I just need to, I just need to have dinner after the class dinner. or uh -huh. I just need to eat dinner after the class. Ok. Uh -huh. I need you to can have dinner. 
Uh -huh. Recuerden de que para cuando decimos para comer algo, casi siempre decimos como I have. I have I dinner. Have, uh -huh. I have dinner. Okay. I have dinner, I have lunch, I have breakfast, things okay. like that. Y then why is the dishes? I, you, and then, I just wash understand the, dishes. the class. <laughs> I just have to In understand the class. <laughs> In this moment. Very good. <laughs> sí, lo, lo que pasa, teacher, que, 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 que en mi caso estoy fuera de San Salvador, estoy en la Unión. Ah, ¿en serio? Y, sí, por el trabajo. Ok. Y acá pues tengo que, que en cuanto vengo a la casa, eh, por la hora que salgo del trabajo, lo que me tardo en llegar a la casa, solo logro cocinar dentro de la clase, porque siempre me conecto a las siete y media, porque ¿Sí? mucho tiempo, a veces que cuando me quedo conectar a las ocho, Tardo hasta 20 minutos en conectarme por Híjole. diferentes causas. Que por mi internet, que por el enlace y por lo que sea. Uh -huh. Mejor a las 7 y 30 yo vengo de una. A, la computador, a la computadora y comienzo pues a conectarme. Si la conexión es rápida y logro entrar a la, a la reunión. Ay, Dios mío, me quedo sin... O sea que usted es de los primeros que entra entonces, Miguel. Sí, normalmente soy el primero, normalmente <risa> el primero. Y, 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 cuando, y cuando logro conectarme... Ya voy a cenar y luego vuelvo a, a esperar que sean las 8. De lo contrario, paso pues batallando por conectarme por dos cosas. O porque el internet de mi teléfono no lo logro anclar acá. O porque el wifi de la casa no tiene buena señal. Y me cuesta pues eh, permanecer de manera eh, permanente en la sesión de clase. Entiendo. Pero entonces usted no vive en la unión, sino que es por el trabajo que está ahí. Sí. Sí, viajo una vez al mes a San Salvador a la casa. Ah, entiendo. Está algo lejito, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo, cómo es el clima? Es caliente, sí. me imagino. Súper caliente. Sí. Es, un, es un cambio bastante drástico, ¿sí? Sí, sí. Muchos dicen eso, que San Miguel, la Unión, como que es bien caliente. Eh, yo trabajo para Calvo Conservas y estamos en el Golfo de Fonseca. Ah, qué genial, de verdad. Sí. Es como logística, me imagino, ¿verdad? No, hay una planta de producción. Ah, se, planta de se, producción. Sí, se saca el atún de, del mar, que es la materia prima, y tenemos el proceso completo. ¿Qué? Opción con vapor, el área de limpieza de pescado, que son 600 personas las que están en mesas de trabajo, porque es una tarea manual, okay. para sacar los lomos de pescado, y luego pues se pasa a la parte automatizada de la planta, donde se hacen las latas, las bolsas, o los frascos de vidrio para mandar el atún a Europa. Qué genial, de verdad. O sea, que sí. se hacen hasta exportaciones y todo. Sí, la, de hecho yo trabajé el fin de semana, si yo dije que no vaya a preguntar. Porque si me preguntan a mí qué es el fin de semana, trabajé, <risa> soy el único que trabajé. <risa> Estamos en auditoría y eso, y pues tocó hacer muchas tareas de limpieza en planta. Sí, tenía que estar todo perfecto para que cuando hicieran la auditoría los aprobaran. No, de hecho, estamos en auditoría, dura tres días. Ah, ok, este, todavía no ha terminado. La, no, la empresa que viene, viene de Colombia. Uh -huh. y hasta el miércoles, es el cierre, en la mañana a las 8 fue la apertura. Ellos van a hacer todo el recorrido tres días y el miércoles a las 4 de la tarde la reunión de cierre para saber si hemos logrado la, res, la recertificación o si hemos sido degradados por, por algún incumplimiento. Sí, ah, sí, no. entiendo. Bueno, ojalá que todo salga bien. Me imagino que si ya una vez lo consiguieron, pues ya solo es de mantenerse ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, ese, ese es el reto. Correcto. Bueno, sí. eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, guys, antes de que me mueva para revisar a otros compañeros por aquí. ¿O estamos bien? Estamos eh, no, bien. Yo, 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 yo sí tengo una pregunta. Porque Dígame. ¿Cómo explico en la estructura que estamos tratando de, 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 de estudiar esta noche que por tener un nuevo trabajo, ahora vivo solo. O sea, en los tres... Eh, Porque ahora momentos, tiene uno, En los tres eh, tiempos, por así decirlo. Tiempos, sí. sí. Uh -huh. eh, because I have a new job, now I live in... Es que siento que sería más en presente casi todo. Ah, de acuerdo. Uh -huh. Más que todo en presente, sería como que... Uh, since I have a new job, now I live in... A different place, or I live in La Unión. Okay. I think that you can say it like that, or sí. maybe you can say. O no se podría decir, este, I just I live alone because uh -huh. my job, eh, 
for, because for my job, I, I need to start in, in a union. <laughs> sí. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> okay, All you the can. Time. Yeah, there are different ways that you can say. You can say, for example, that I used to live in San Salvador, but because of my okay. job, I had to move to a different uh, city or I have to move to La Unión. Okay. Mm -hmm. Puedo decirlo así también, eh, que solía vivir en San Salvador, pero por mi trabajo eh, tuve que moverme, que mudarme a otra ciudad. Entonces lo puedo decir así también. Ah, está bien. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome, guys. So I'm going to move to another... Uh, room. I'm going to check with other uh, okay. classmates. So, bye guys. Okay. Bye. What I got? Hello guys. How are you doing? Uh, teacher. Yes. Please tell me if it's correct. Okay. Uh, she has recently begun in that job. Yes, that is correct. Yep, very good. Okay. So she has okay. recently okay. begun uh, that new job. She has job. recently begun in that job. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, teacher, teacher uh, recently, can we use in in the middle or at or at the end? I think that you can use it uh, in the middle in, and also in, at in the end. In affirmative sentence. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can use it both ways, I think. Yes, you can say I have recently started a new job or I have started a new job recently. I think that teacher, both of them would be fine. Teacher, uh, I would want you you share any square with the structure for, for affirmative or negative sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because in the in the examples, mm -hmm. I have only question. Yes. Okay. Please, please. Th thank you for letting me know that, Janira. Yes, and I'm going to share the structure mm -hmm. for affirmative, okay. for negative, please. and also for for questions. So you please. don't have any any questions on that. Please, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So I don't know if you guys have any other questions. Uh, any anything that you would like to say, other than this. Teacher, mm -hmm. one more. Mm -hmm. uh, baby, the baby has just slept. Is correct? That is correct. You're saying that the okay. baby, uh, el bebé, se acaba de dormir. Mm -hmm. Así es. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. Normalmente, Yanira, eh, se dice como the baby has has just fall asleep. 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 Uh -huh. Sorry. Okay. Has okay. <laughs> just Teacher, fallen asleep. Has yes, just fallen. Fall, fallen asleep. Fallen. Yes. Fallen asleep. Asleep. Ah, thank you. Sí. Otra, otro ejemplo podría ser, teacher. Have you gone to the church recently? Have you gone to the church recently? Yes. That is correct, Luis. Okay. Thank you. She has. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, guys. So, do you have any other questions uh, before I go to uh, other classmates? I need to check on them too. So I don't know if you have any questions for me. Uh, teacher, one more. Mm -hmm. uh, she has already eaten. It's okay. Correct. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Very good, Thank Janina. You. Very good job. Thank Very good you. job, guys. So I'm Thank going you. to move to another room. So bye for now, guys. I will talk to you in a moment. Okay, teacher. Let's see, number six. <clears throat> Thank you. Hello, guys. How Hello, are you? Teacher. Hi, teacher. We, How are you? We have a, very good. We have a question. Okay. What is the question? I, I don't know if I don't understand uh, very well, but you say that already is only for negative symptoms. No, nope. uh, already. Oh, I listen. Uh -huh. <laughs> already oh. is for positive, okay? Yet I was it's for negative. <laughs> Maybe were... I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> probably that is the what happened. That's probably what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Are you tired? Sleeping, I did you did you go to work today? 
a little bit me. It's because I didn't sleep well yesterday. You didn't sleep well yesterday. Okay. So what happened? I don't know. So, so yet, so yet is only for uh, negative sentence. Mm -hmm. Negative sentences and also for questions. Okay, so you can say I haven't oh. eaten yet or have you eaten yet? Okay. Básicamente eso sería. So it's good. Uh, so it's good to say uh, I haven't finished my homework yet. Correct. Correct. No. Very good, Carlos. Very good example. And Jessica. Eh, yo puse I have just finished work. Okay. Very good. I have just y, finished. Y, y en este caso, bueno, compartíamos con los compañeros si, por ejemplo, era para un objeto utilizar already eh, the cup has already broken. Correcto. Correcto. Yes. Okay. yes. Very good. Jessica. Okay. Any other question, guys? Uh, yes, miss. Mm -hmm. Can I use recent, recently at the end of the sentence? You can. You can do it. Yes. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome, guys. Bye. I will. I need to move to another uh, room because I there is somebody who is asking for help. So I will talk to you guys in a moment. Okay. Okay. Let me see where is okay. it. Okay. Think, Katia. Let's see. Join. Katia. Hello, guys. Hello. Ya no para regañar porque no hablo. <laughs> Ajá, los caché, ¿verdad? ¿Qué estaban haciendo? <laughs> Teacher, I have a question. Okay. Uh, I confuse in this moment. What yet is for the question two? Or for the affirmative sentence? I don't know. Yes. Okay, so we were saying that you can use yet for negative sentences and also for questions. Okay, you can say like, I haven't finished the book yet. I have not finished yet. Or you can say, have you finished yet? It's a question. It is a question, right. Uh, okay. Es que en Spanish, Spanglish. <laughs> Sí, sí entonces... es que aquí en el ejemplo me confunde un poco porque, ajá, porque aquí dice have you finished finished yet uh -huh. pero es, está afirmando que ya lo terminó ¿verdad? sí, sí es que pues solamente es que eso, eso me confunde un poquito porque después en la pregunta ah, es que la negativa las preguntas negativas son las que van a llevar yet al final ¿verdad? Eh, no, también este, las preguntas positivas, ambas se pueden. Por ejemplo, haven't you finished yet? You can say that, or you can say, have you finished yet? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have okay. a question too. Ok. What is your question, Boris? Uh, I confused with the, with just. Just. Uh, how I can uh, answer When you say, have you finished yet? Yes, I had already finished, but I want to use just. Okay, you can change it. Uh, you can say, I have just finished. Ah, and you don't, you don't use already the, the mm -hmm. two. Correcto. Usted puede, utilizar uh -huh. Usted puede utilizar already or just. Uno uh, de los dos. In affirmative question, mm -hmm. in affirmative sen sentence. That is correct. Uh, uh, okay. Already, may, already to the affirmative sentence, to teacher. For affirmative sentences, yes. I already. Uh, the verb is going to be in a present perfect. The, yes, yes, the verb has, has to be in the past participle, okay? Has to be finished or. Ah, past participle. Ay, it's my part. whole teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yes, I know that. <laughs> In past uh, participle. Okay. Past a participle. A lot of things I confuse 
It's far, far, si Poltori, partner, right. Boris. Don't worry, don't worry, guys. Okay, so we are going to finish. I think that uh, I just need to finish with you guys because I have uh, another class after this. So. Okay, teacher. Okay. Don't worry. Thank Be you, happy. guys. Here we go. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Aquí vamos. Bye. Bye. Ya me estaba despidiendo. Ok. ¿Qué tal, guys? ¿Cómo les fue? Um, very well. Very well. Ok. Very yeah. well, yes. Yeah. I can see you guys are happy, so that, that makes me happy too. Um... Estamos bien, se había terminado la clase, teacher. Sí, Habíamos quedado solo. Ya estábamos sí, despidiéndonos ahí. Ya, ya terminamos, entonces. Bueno, creo que hasta estamos... Sí, buen ejercicio, teacher. Very good. I'm happy to hear that, yes. I'm happy to hear that you guys liked it and that you were able to practice. So... Yeah, I think that we haven't finished yet, but I mean, we run out of time for today. So we are going to continue tomorrow again. And so I don't know if you guys have any questions before we go, because I have, I have to, I have to go. I have other things to do. So do you have any question, guys? No, Not this sure. no. yeah, Tomorrow, please. Very good. Okay. Very good, guys. So, well, I will have... Uh, tomorrow. I will leave you guys for today, good and then we'll see you good tomorrow. Night. Good 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 night. Good